Hello everyone. Welcome to Basics e-learning. In lesson number 8, I am going to discuss problems on even and odd signals. A detailed explanation on even and odd signals is given in my previous videos. Before you get start with solving problems, get a clear understanding of concepts first. Hence, I am leaving a link in description box. Please go through the videos. Basically, the problems on even and odd signals may be in one of these three methods. One is like finding even and odd part of any given signal. Second type is to sketch the even and odd parts of the given signal. And the third one is to find whether the given signal is even or odd signal. So in this part one on even and odd signals, I'm going to discuss the type one problems that is finding even and odd signals of any given signal. So for that, I am giving you just a brief formula revision here. So that is even signal x e of n is given by half of x of n plus x of minus n and x o of n is equal to 1 by 2 x of n minus x of minus n where x of n is a signal right that is your discrete time signal x e of n is nothing but the even signal x o of n is your odd signal similarly if x of t is any continuous time signal x e of t is given by half of x of t plus x of minus t and x o of t is given by half of x of t minus x of minus t so if x of t or x of n any signal is given this is the formula that we are using to find even and odd signal so this is the method that i am going to discuss the first problem that i am going to discuss here is find the even and odd components of the signal x of t is equal to cos t plus sin t plus sin t cos t so any given signal x of t has two parts even part and odd part so the even part is represented with x e of t and odd part is represented with x o of t so x of t has two parts even part and odd part and x of t is nothing but summation of even part plus odd part x of t plus x e of t plus x naught of t now we'll write for x e of t as you know x e of t is equal to half of x of t plus x of minus t similarly we have x o of t that is the odd part of t x of t is half of x of t minus x of minus t so in this formula you know x of t that is the given signal now we have to find out x of minus t so for that first i am taking x of t here that is nothing but cos t plus sin t plus sin t cos t now try to find out x of minus t so wherever t is there simply put minus t in this equation so cos of minus t plus sin t so i am writing sin of minus t plus sin of minus t cos of minus t so you know cos minus theta is equal to cos theta and sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin right so using this here i am writing x of minus t is cos of minus t is cos t sin of minus t is minus sin t sin of minus t is minus sin t and cos of minus t is cos t so minus and plus here it is minus sin t cos t so i know x of t and x of minus t so to find out x e of t and x o of t simply i have to substitute x of t and x of minus t in these two formula so after finding out x of minus t now i am calculating for x e of t so x e of t is equal to half of x of t plus x of minus t so just substitute half of what is x of t given signal so cos t 
प्लस साइन डी प्लस साइन डी कॉस्ट राइट प्लस एक्स ऑफ माइनस डी दट इज दिस इक्वेशन राइट सो सिंपली सब्सटीट्यूट कॉस डी माइनस साइन डी प्लस साइन डी कॉस्ट माइनस साइन डी कॉस्ट राइट सो दिस इक्वेशन एक्स ऑफ माइनस डी सो दैट इज कॉस डी माइनस साइन डी माइनस साइन डी कॉस्ट सो दिस विल गेट कैंसिल हियर सो वॉट आई एम गेटिंग हियर इज यू आर लेफ्ट विथ टू कॉस्ट डी देन टू एंड टू विल गेट कैंसिल यू विल गेट इट एज कॉस्ट डी सो एक्स ई ऑफ टी यू आर गेटिंग इज कॉस टी लेटस कैलकुलेट द ऑट पार्ट ऑफ द सिग्नल एक्स ओ ऑफ टी so x o of t is half of x of t minus x of minus t right so again simply substitute your x of t and x of minus t in this formula so here you will get x cos t plus sin t plus sin t cos t minus x of minus t means this signal right so this equation equation number 2 or equation number 1 you can call to avoid your confusion so minus cos t minus of minus plus sin t minus of minus again plus sin t cos t so any terms are getting cancel cos t is getting cancel here half and 2 sin t plus 2 sin t cos t so i'll take 2 sin t common so that i'll get 1 plus cos t divided by 2 i have here so sin t into 1 plus cos t so the odd part of the signal that is x not of t i'm getting is sin t into 1 plus cos t so this is the way that you can find out the even and odd part of the any given signal using the formula the second problem here is obtain the even and odd parts of the signal x of t is equal to 1 plus t cube cos cube 10t so first step you need to find out x of minus t so directly i am doing x of minus t so in place of t you have to write minus t so 1 plus minus t whole cube multiplied by cos cube 10 multiplied by minus t here right so this will be minus t whole cube is minus t cube so this will be 1 minus t cube cos minus theta is cos theta only so you will get it as cos cube 10t right so let us call the given equation x of t as equation 1 and x of minus t as equation number 2 now try to find out x e of t which is nothing but half of x of t plus x of minus t substitute equation number 1 and 2 in this formula so 1 plus t cube multiplied by cos cube 10t so i am just expanding here so that i will get 1 multiplied by cos cube 10t plus t cube cos cube 10t right plus this will be 1 multiplied by cos cube 10t that is cos cube 10t minus t cube cos cube 10t so this will get cancelled you will be leaving here with 2 cos cube 10t divided by 2 so the answer here is cos cube 10 so write it x e of t even part of the signal is cos cube 10 t right now let's calculate the odd part also write down the formula x o of t is equal to half of x of t minus x of minus t substitute x of t and x of minus t as i have two terms i'm just multiplying and splitting here so cos cube 10t plus t cube cos cube 10t minus cos cube 10t 
minus of minus here this one minus of minus plus t cube cos cube ten t right so this will get cancelled here so half multiplied by two into t cube ten cube ten t so x naught of t is t cube ten cube ten t so write it down x naught of t is nothing but t cube ten cube ten t right so this is how we can solve this problem and the next problem here is find the even and odd part of the signal x of t is equal to 1 plus t plus 3 t square plus 5 t cube plus 9 t power 4 so first step is to find out x of minus t so wherever t is there put it as minus t here in this given equation so 1 plus minus t plus 3 into minus t whole square plus 5 into minus t whole cube plus 9 into minus t whole power 4. So this gives me 1 minus t minus t whole square is t square only. So 3 t square minus 5 t cube plus 9 t power 4. So, x of minus t is now 1 minus t plus 3 t square minus 5 t cube plus 9 t power 4. Let us call this as equation number 2 and x of t as equation number 1. Now, calculate for x e of t which is nothing but half of x of t plus x of minus t. So, substitute equation number 1 and equation number 2. So, you will get 1 plus t plus 3 t square plus 5 t cube plus 9 t power 4 plus 1 minus t plus 3 t square minus 5 t cube plus 9 t power 4. So, t is cancelled then this one also getting cancelled. So, here 1 plus 3 t square plus 9 t power 4 again 1 plus 3 t square plus 9 to 9 t power 4. So, 2 into 1 plus 3 t square plus 9 t power 4 divided by 2 I have here, right? So, this will get cancelled. So, x e of t is nothing but 1 plus 3 t square plus 9 t power 4. Now, let us try finding out x o of t which is nothing but half of x of t minus x of minus t. So, substitute x of t and x of minus t in this formula. So, 1 plus t plus 3 t square plus 5 t cube plus 9 t power 4. So, minus of x of minus t. So, this is the equation for x of minus t. So, if you multiply all minus will become plus and plus will become minus. So, that it will be minus 1 plus t minus 3 t square plus 5 t cube minus 9 t power 4. Right. So, 1 will get cancelled here. 3 t square minus 3 t square 9 t power 4 minus 9 t power 4. So, the remaining terms are 2 t plus 10 t cube. So, if you take 2 common here, t plus 5 t cube divided by 2. So, x naught of t, that is the odd part of the given signal is here, t plus 5 t cube. So, this is how we can solve this problem easily. For more videos, please do like, share, subscribe to our channel. Let us know your suggestions and queries in the comment box. Thank you.